but there's so many failed ones. For every Big Mac and Whopper, there have been plenty of menu duds. So let's dig into the top 10 fast food failures. McDonald's McLobster. Lobster. Ah, lobster, the fanciest of dishes, a coveted delicacy harvested from the salty sea. It can be served on its own, paired with a steak, or served atop a buttery roll, creating a sandwich that rivals any and all other handheld menu items. The lobster roll is second to none, that is, unless it's being served through a fast food drive through window. The fine people at McDonald's decided to step outside of the usual burger and fries box and try their hand at creating a classic lobster roll, which they eloquently named the McLobster, of course. Unfortunately, it ended up tasting rather McNasty. This shouldn't be surprising. After all, lobster requires a certain amount of culinary experience and attention to detail to make it edible. Michelin star chefs train for years to perfect dishes as finicky as lobster, experimenting and adjusting recipes in order to prepare it and serve it just right. Lobster is best served by qualified hands. It's also best served fresh, and there's no way McDonald's is keeping a cool tank of live lobsters in the back of their kitchens or sending a fleet of fishermen out to sea each morning. When lobster is being thawed and cooked in a fast food kitchen, kept warm under a tiny red light during the lunchtime rush, you know it isn't going to be all that great. Even though the sandwich does make an appearance every so often in some coastal regions, the McLobster was a massive misstep for this fast food chain. Sonic's Pickle Juice Slushy. Oh, juice! I love juice! This fluorescent green frozen experiment from Sonic seems like a no-brainer to vehemently avoid. Who would look at the words pickle and slushy and think, yes, that's exactly what I've been craving all day? But it appears at least a few people have thought just that. We're not sure who exactly these people are, but maybe a taste bud test is in order. The Sonic Pickle Juice Slushy has appeared on their limited time menu on more than one occasion. Again, the biggest question is who is ordering this monstrosity? Is nothing sacred? Regardless of how it's prepared, this cannot be delicious. Even for pickle lovers, this fast food cup filler has got to be a giant disappointment. Think about it. It's all the odd, tangy, sour flavor of a pickle without the enjoyable crunch or hunger-easing satisfaction. On a hot summer's day, who wants to pull into a Sonic drive through place an order, then take in a giant frozen gulp of of pickle juice. Oh God, no! Oh! Well, if the sitcoms are true, maybe the expectant mother who orders this drink can get a pass when having odd baby-induced cravings, but anybody else who's got to have a to-go cup filled with ice and pickle juice just cannot be trusted, that's for sure. Sonic has so many delicious and refreshing beverages, snacks, and meals to offer, but maybe skip the pickle juice slushy if you want to have an enjoyable drink. Jack in the Box Jumbo Egg Rolls Fast food okay? Yeah, I love fast food. When it comes to a good fast food menu, sometimes less is more. When you're waiting in your car in the takeout line, you don't really need a plethora of dining options to choose from. What the customer really wants are consistently delicious combos they can depend on and that taste great again and again. This is exactly what Jack in the Box does not do. Their menu is all over the place, from burgers and shakes to grotesque breakfast platters to weird Mexican food taco boxes. But the absolute strangest and oddest menu item at Jack in the Box has got to be their side order of jumbo egg rolls. What's wrong with them? This dubious fast food offering begs so many questions, the greatest of which is, why is Jack in the Box serving egg rolls? These displaced Chinese food adjacent deep fried pockets are packed with everything you don't need from your local fast food joint. Dry diced pork mixed with lackluster veggies packed into a questionable crust served with a sweet and sour dipping sauce to mask the flavor. No thanks. When it comes to egg rolls, hit the road, Jack. Whittle that overly complicated menu down to the burgers and milkshakes you make so well and leave the egg rolls to the professionals. Tim Horton's Buffalo Latte. 
Figured you hadn't learned how to brew coffee yet. Canadians are known for many things, like their unwavering friendliness and their ability to brew a delicious cup of coffee. But for a brief stint in 2017, Canadian fast food coffee chain Tim Hortons challenged both of those stereotypes by serving the people of Buffalo, New York, a very unfriendly, unpleasant cup of joe called the Buffalo Latte. This unprecedented blend contained the components you love and expect in a latte, steamed milk, espresso, mocha, and whipped cream, but the ingredients list did not stop there. These wacky neighbors of the North decided it was a good idea to add buffalo sauce and a sprinkle of buffalo seasoning to this particular limited time and limited region menu offering. Ca oh my god! Canada, how could you do such a thing? This confusing, caffeinated combination no doubt created quite the stir. After all, what food item would even pair with such a beverage? Donuts or celery sticks? Muffins or ribs? It's chaos. Absolute chaos packed into a Tim Hortons cup. Thankfully, this menu item can no longer be found in New York State or anywhere else. Just in case, if you're ever heading north of the border and you see a Tim Hortons sign in the distance, stick with a regular black coffee or maybe a double-double. Don't risk it. Burger King Halloween Whopper Happy Halloween! In the spirit of the spooky season, Burger King once created a Halloween-inspired version of their classic burger, the Whopper. It was basically a regular Whopper with one scary twist. The bun was black. An odd choice, to say the least. The lightly toasted sesame seed buns ended up resembling circular chunks of burnt charcoal that had been baked for several days on end. In addition to being aesthetically unappealing, the added food coloring caused some tummy-troubled patrons to have a ghostly fright in the bathroom. That's horrible. Out of the many people brave or silly enough to actually try the Halloween Whopper, more than a few reported disturbing discoveries upon its eventual, let's just say, evacuation. It turns out food dyes color more than just food, and after eating the Halloween Whopper, customers reported their bowel movements resembled the color of Frankenstein's monster, green. Probably not the scary experience Burger King was going for, but if their mission was to freak their customers out and give them a Halloween fright, then they certainly succeeded. Taco Bell Cap'n Crunch Delights I brought Taco Bell. Some things just go together, like cookies and milk, burgers and fries, steak and potatoes. But then there are other things that just don't, like sugary children's cereal and Taco Bell. That's right, Taco Bell decided to go out on a limb and added a little Cap'n Crunch to its menu. The result was, well, as you would expect... Not good. Their hearts were in the right place, but their recipe and execution was unfortunately not. Taco Bell Cap'n Crunch Delights turned out to be anything but delightful. Part donut, part filling, part children's cereal, part deep fried, and all wrong. This dessert offering was both too much and yet not enough. You would think a Cap'n Crunch dessert at Taco Bell would be a childlike adult's dream come true, but alas, it tasted more like a sugar-laden nightmare. Taco Bell is the perfect place to cure cravings and curb hunger, but even the heaviest hitters can strike out from time to time. Thankfully, Cap'n Crunch took the helm and steered the ship back to the cereal aisle and away from Taco Bell, and this dessert do not is no longer available. Taco Bell should continue to think outside the bun, but maybe stay outside the cereal box. Chipotle's Cauliflower Rice Hey, is that healthy food? Nope. Healthy options are always appreciated at a fast food establishment. Whether you're low-carb, gluten-free, or just counting your calories, it's nice to have the option to enjoy something on the lighter side every now and then. That is, unless that thing tastes terrible. In the spirit of health and wellness, Chipotle decided to provide a lower-carb, grain-free alternative to its regular menu offerings by making a special Chipotle version of cauliflower rice. In theory, this was a good idea. In practice, it was bad news. What this menu item lacked in gluten and carbs, it also lacked in taste and texture. Not only that, customers had to pay more for it than the regular rice option. No, thank you! A tasteless, overpriced dollop of sadness. If you're going to eat at Chipotle, you should really enjoy what you're eating. Skip the calorie counting and appreciate the deliciousness that Chipotle is known and loved for. 
Carl's Jr. Pop-Tart Ice Cream Sandwich. Whoa, you look great, considering your age. Yeah, I'm basically exactly the same, except I pretty much only talk about ice cream now. The Carl's Jr. Pop-Tart Ice Cream Sandwich is exactly what it sounds like. Two scoops of vanilla ice cream sandwiched between two frosted strawberry-filled Pop-Tarts. What's wrong with that? Nothing, really, except it's a recipe that could have come from the mind of a four-year-old. This menu item is reminiscent of a child's after-school snack escapades when left alone without any supervision. Imagine the boardroom table where this creation came to fruition. Perhaps it was Take Your Kid to Work Day and the CEO of Carl's Jr. was fresh out of both ideas and patience. Frazzled and in need of a vacation, he turns to one of the children and asks, What sounds good to you? The Pop-Tart ice ice cream sandwich was born. This creativity-lacking dessert should be a guilty pleasure snack an adult would secretly make at home when no one else is around. It certainly shouldn't be a menu item you pay extra for at a well-known fast food establishment. The Carl's Jr. Pop-Tart Ice Cream Sandwich is honestly just too silly to exist on a takeout menu, and thankfully, it no longer does. If you want a Pop-Tart Ice Cream Sandwich, best to make it at home. As you can imagine, the recipe is not that hard to figure out. McDonald's Mick Hot Dog Come on, boys! The hot dog is a classic treat. It conjures up visions of birthday parties and ballparks, childhood summers, and backyard barbecues. When one thinks of a hot dog, many different versions may come to mind, because with an array of toppings and condiments, no two hot dogs are ever truly alike. Each one is like a unique snowflake of meaty deliciousness, requiring no utensils to be enjoyed, fitting perfectly into the palm of one's hand. You can't really go wrong with a hot dog, that is, unless you're preparing them and selling them at McDonald's. In the same way the McLobster was a Golden Arches culinary disaster, the McHot Dog was also a major McLetdown. The meat tasted questionable, the toppings were lacking, and when compared to the Big Mac or the classic Chicken McNuggets, the McHot Dog continually came up short. Thankfully, this item did not last on the McDonald's menu for very long. And for good reason. If you want to enjoy a delicious burger with some hot, salty fries, head to your nearest McDonald's. But if you want to enjoy a good old American hot dog, head to a ball game, a kid's birthday, or fire up the grill and make them at home. Wendy's Quadruple Baconator I'm hungry! I'm hungry! I'm hungry! Okay, so you may be hungry, famished, starving, and ready to eat everything and anything under the sun. But if you care at all about the state of your stomach, you will heed this warning and steer clear of the Wendy's Quadruple Baconator. When you need to eat, you just want to ease your hunger, not end up with a guaranteed case of the meat sweats. If you want to swear off ever eating again, look no further than this overloaded, greasy tower of meat and cheese. Can I grab a bacon? please, but hold the bacon. We can all agree the regular Wendy's Baconator is amazing. It's a flavorful cluster of spectacular tastes, and all on its own, it's a giant mouthful. With a delicious soft bun, several slices of applewood smoked bacon, two fresh, never frozen, square hamburger patties, a couple of slices of American cheese drizzled with ketchup and mayonnaise, it's a treat that is sure to satisfy. But does a person really need all of that times two? Double the meat? double the cheese, double the grease, double the gastrointestinal unrest. While it is true that Wendy's makes a fantastic burger, it really is possible to have too much of a good thing. And the quadruple Baconator is just that, too much. So even though you may be feeling hungry enough to eat a whole cow, chances are your eyes are bigger than your belly, and this quadruple Baconator may literally be a whole cow. Stick with the original Baconator and get a Frosty for dessert. You'll be glad you did.